Hello everyone and welcome to 10 Dog Breeds Prone to Cancer. Researchers have identified dog breeds that may be more prone to cancer, the leading cause of mortality in dogs, according to a recent study published in Royal Society Open Science. The results of this study also refuted the misconception that big breeds have a higher risk of cancer. While certain dog breeds are more likely to get cancer than others, several breeds are specifically linked to a higher risk. The 10 dog breeds listed in the video are cancer prone. Number 10. Bernese Mountain Dog. The study's findings indicated that Bernese Mountain Dogs had a higher chance of cancer. Specifically, the breed is more prone to mast cell cancers, lymphoma, and blood vessel cancer called hemangiosarcoma. Regretfully, until an internal tumor ruptures, this kind of cancer usually affects the spleen and remains undetected. Hemangiosarcoma symptoms can include exhaustion, weakness, and pale gums. Number 9. Bull Mastiff. Similar to the Bernese Mountain Dog, the Bull Mastiff is more likely to develop cancer. This breed of Mastiff is more prone from an early age to some forms of cancer. They are particularly susceptible to lymphoma or lymphosarcoma, as well as mast cell malignancies. Thankfully, there are certain mast cell tumors that can be surgically cured, and some that can be treated with chemotherapy. In dogs undergoing chemotherapy, lymphoma is likewise a very curable cancer with a high success rate. It is actually one of the rare forms of cancer that a blood test may identify. The vet treating your bull mastiff could advise doing a full blood count twice a year. Number 8. Beagle. With their feisty, cuddly, and endearing disposition, beagles are beloved by dog lovers all over the world. The beagle breed is prone to disease, including lymphoma, lymphatic cancer, and osteosarcoma, a kind of bone cancer, despite their adorable appearance. Additionally, they have a higher risk of bladder cancer. Bladder cancer may be present in your dog if they show symptoms like blood in their urine or painful or frequent peeing. Number 7. Scottish Terrier. Compared to other dog breeds, Scottish Terriers have a 20-fold increased risk of bladder cancer, specifically transitional cell carcinoma, TCC. This breed-specific vulnerability to TCC emphasizes how crucial routine veterinary examinations and preventive health monitoring are. It is possible to detect and treat bladder cancer in Scottish Terriers earlier by being aware of this increased risk. Prompt identification may enhance the results of treatment. Number 6. Flat-Coated Retriever. The study, which was published in Royal Society Open Science, looked at 85 breeds across several databases. The flat-coated retriever had a noticeably higher cancer death rate than other breeds, according to the study's findings. Furthermore, findings from an independent, extended Cambridge University study also showed that by the time they are 8 years old, half of all flat coats will have cancer, and many of them will pass away from the illness. Malignant histiocytosis, a multisystemic malignancy that progresses quickly and usually results in death, is the main killer. Number 5. Boxer. Cancer stands out as the primary health concern for boxer dogs, constituting this breed's number one health issue. According to a comprehensive 20-year study conducted by the University of Georgia, a staggering 44.3% of boxers died of various forms of cancer. The Royal Veterinary College's estimates are equally alarming, suggesting one in seven boxers will be diagnosed with cancer each year. Pet parents of this breed should stay up to date on veterinary appointments and screenings as a preventative measure. Early detection is vital for the treatment of cancer. Number 4. Bouvier des Flandres. Notable for their adaptability and good nature among kids, Bouvier de Flandres is a breed that is more likely to develop gastric carcinoma, a type of stomach cancer that is malignant. According to a joint Danish-Norwegian study, Bouviers are considered to be at a high risk of acquiring stomach cancer. Anorexia, vomiting, and weight loss were the most prevalent clinical signs. Number 3. German Shepherd. German Shepherds have a significantly higher risk of developing cancer as they get older. Because of the breed's unfortunate predisposition to some cancers, the expected diagnosis rate is 50%. 
Around the age of 10 is when this risk usually increases, and about half of cancer cases result in death. Due of this breeds propensity for cancer, especially hemangiosarcoma, or blood vessel cancer, aged German shepherds should receive preventive veterinary care and close health monitoring. Number 2. Pug. The pug dog breed is adored for their endearing dispositions and distinctive looks, but they are also susceptible to cancer. These amiable puppies are susceptible to oral melanoma, a type of skin cancer that affects the mouth, as well as mast cell tumors. Half of all cancer cases can be successfully treated with surgery, while some cancers can be treated with chemotherapy. Once more, the key to effectively controlling cancer in pugs is early identification. Number 1. West Highland White Terrier Beagles and Scottish Terriers are also prone to bladder cancer, as are West Highland White Terriers. A biopsy is a procedure used by veterinarians to diagnose cancer. It involves removing a small portion of the tumor for microscopic analysis. The Cadet BRAF Mutation Detection Assay is a urine test that can also be used to diagnose this type of cancer. In addition, the Royal Society Open Science Study found that Westies had a greater incidence of adenoma-slash-adenocarcinomas. Other breeds highly susceptible to canine cancer. While the causes of cancer involve various factors, genetics likely contribute to susceptibility and the occurrence of cancers. Other dog breeds with a high cancer risk include the St. Bernard, Irish Wolfhound, Rottweiler, Golden Retriever, Irish Water Spaniel, Hungarian Vizsla, and Leon Berger. If you're considering adding a dog to your home, be sure to research information regarding your potential companion's risk for cancer. Recognizing the types of cancer that appear more frequently in specific breeds can help pet owners take proactive measures. Signs and Symptoms in Dog Breeds Prone to Cancer The National Canine Cancer Foundation advocates for regular checkups and monthly at-home scans for dogs, especially for breeds with a higher cancer risk. Monitoring for a range of symptoms is crucial. Symptoms to be aware of include the appearance of new lumps or bumps on the skin, alterations in their coat, changes in water consumption or appetite, and weight loss. Additional symptoms may include shifts in behavioral patterns like increased solitude, unusual sleeping locations, or sudden lethargy. Other signs such as an enlarged abdomen, coughing, difficulty breathing, and limping may serve as potential indicators of cancer. Also, vomiting, diarrhea, alterations in urinary habits, and skin lesions that don't heal properly could also hint at a potential cancer diagnosis. Accordingly, remaining vigilant and recognizing these signs can aid in early detection and timely intervention. That's the 10 dog breeds prone to cancer. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell for future notifications. And if you want to become a member then hit that join button to get some awesome emotes, perks, and much more coming soon. See you guys next time.